I would think like if you sell someone early on and you, you, you notice the hand numbness, again, the thing you run to is like carpal tunnel or you run to, uh, again, radiculopathy. But like, I think this is something that PTs, we need to have kind of on our radar. Hey, do I need to start thinking something else is going on here, particularly in light of other symptoms? So for me, the article was, is definitely a nice brush up considering that uh, it was specific for physical therapy. Uh, it was beyond just like simple tests like uh, the Hoffman, so they talk about obviously doing DTRs of the upper extremities, but also doing DTRs of the lower extremities. And that's something that, like, in the past, I don't think I would have done with my patients with s suspected cervical myelopathy. And the rationale is that if the, uh, they have impingement up in the upper motor neuron of the cervical spine, their lower DTRs will be more upregulated, so they'll be hyper-reflexive at the patella. So I'm like, okay, that's something I'm going to add to my practice now if I suspect uh, cervical myelopathy is looking at that patellar uh, flex to see if it is hyperreflexia because that's just one more piece of data that I can put into my, my assessment.